No cost of living crisis for him. Civil rights campaigner, Reverend L. Sharpton, sees his pay packet double to $650,000 with his nonprofit also forking out $1 million for jets and limos. So let's get right into the story. Reverend L. Sharpton received a massive raise through his National Action Network charity that's nearly doubled his pay packet to nearly $650,000. Again, with his nonprofit shuttling out one million, basically for private jets. Sharpton, president and CEO of Nun, was compensated three hundred and forty-eight thousand one hundred and seventy-four dollars by his charitable foundation, according to tax filings. He was also allocated two hundred and seventy-eight thousand five hundred and three dollars in bonuses and twenty-two thousand one hundred and seventeen dollars in benefits, bringing his total compensation to six hundred and forty-eight thousand. $794. That's a giant increase in pay for Sharpton, whose salary was $347,183 and did not include bonuses two years ago in 2020. Of the $1 million forked out on lavish transport, Nan paid $291,833 to Apollo Jets, a service which brokers private jets and helicopters from Gulfstreams to Boeing's and partners with Telenair, one of the largest charter operators in the U.S. Nan also splashed out $650,134 on Carry International, a luxury car with chauffeur ride service, so that Reverend could attend important meetings. Soon. Sharpton 68 would also travel to take part in funerals, conferences, and protests across the country, a NAN spokeswoman said. Some of it was me, some of it was the chairman, some of it was victims' families, Sharpton told the New York Post, adding that the COVID-19 pandemic did not allow for commercial air travel due to recurrent flight cancellations. The Baptist minister, who has many high-profile connections, said that one donor had paid back for all of his hair travel though he did not want to name the particular individual. In last month, the Reverend claimed that President Joe Biden had told him that he would be running for a second term in 2024, according to a report. In 2021, Nan reported $7.3 million in revenue, a far cry from the $11.1 million profits made in the year prior when the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis ignited weeks of protests in Minnesota and across the country. The charity said the massive profit made from two years ago was used to fund a march in Washington, which reportedly cost $1 million, and to pay for the burials of victims who died at protests and from police brutality. Sharpton, meanwhile, has defended his ample bonus, saying the nonprofit's board approved it. Nan is also a main source of income for the Reverend's two daughters. His eldest daughter, Dominique, received $78,670 for her work within the charity, while Ashley was compensated $59,950 for her contributions in consulting and social media duties. Anne Sharpton's niece, Nikki, was also paid $15,800 for organizing and promoting special events. Now, here's the thing. I think a lot of people don't even actually realize how corrupt a lot of these like charities actually are. Because basically what typically happens is a lot of these charities will end up, you know, hiring companies that just so happen to also be funded or ran by the individual who owns the charity in the first place, right? Now, I don't know if that's actually the case in this scenario, but the fact that he could just pretty much willy-nilly pay whatever him, whatever he wants out of the charity to himself, to his family, friends, etc., that's a very sketchy situation. Earlier this year, the Reverend called on New York City Mayor Eric Adams to crack down on shoplifters after the civil rights leader saw basic items like toothpaste locked up at his local pharmacy. Sharpton, a Brooklyn native, is best known for spearheading the modern civil rights movement since the 1970s. His activism focuses on police reform and accountability, calling for the ban on certain police practices like stop and frisk. In 2004, the Reverend was a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidential election, 
before it was ultimately claimed by then Massachusetts Senator John Kerry. He hosts his own radio talk show, Keep It In Real, and is frequently on TV and radio. Let's see some of the uh, comments on this. Hustling race is profitable, very... He also has outstanding judgments against him, which he says he can't pay, and he gets away with it. Sharpton owes back taxes, which he chooses not to pay, but the IRS, his Democratic friends, don't pursue and hassle him as they do regular working people. Like, here's the thing. If you owe enough back taxes and you don't pay it, you could end up getting jailed for that. Let's see. Anything else? Who actually donates to a charity where one person's paycheck is $650,000? Wake up, people. He is such a con artist. How can he take such an obscene salary and benefits for non profit organization? Like, here's the thing. Like, this is the thing that charities should run like, right? Either ran completely for free in terms of, like, you have a very big donor that created the charity who is basically funding all the activities of the charity, right? Or you turn it into basically a for-profit company that you use the excess profits to fund everything, right? So you sell like t-shirts, okay, and you just fund all the extra profits to whatever things you want to do. Or you have a charity where you make it very clear that, okay, you could choose whether or not to spend money towards the actual activities that the charity does, their goals, or the infrastructure of the charity itself, like the employees, the pay, all that kind of stuff, and have it split. It's like, okay, I want to give $10 to there and $10 to there, okay? So you know exactly where your money's going. But a lot of these charities, they just raise money, raise money, raise money, and then only use like 10% of the millions of dollars that they actually raised for the activities that the charity states. Because, I mean, the rules of the charity kind of like varies, but in some states, you could pretty much justify any spending that the charity does as long as it kind of remotely makes sense. We're like, oh, okay, we're spending millions of dollars on private jets and limos because, oh, we got to go travel to these specific protests so that we could raise money and spread awareness and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just, anytime I see a charity with people at the head or who own it making a lot of money, you get like a really weird feeling about it. You're like, uh, this is kind of disgusting, you know? By the way, if you want to learn how to get a debt, and mass your money, go down below or go to 40inbox.com.